What's crack lacking YouTube? I'm with my mother. We woke up this morning, drove an hour and a half to this highway, 171 miles of garage sales. It should be an insane day of garage selling. What a great way to round out the summer. Unfortunately, this first town that is having the sales is all like richy new people. So we haven't found anything yet but there are a lot of farm towns along the way and hopefully those farm towns have all the good stuff so come garage selling with us today all right youtube um change of plans this is a very rich town and we've already went to like 10 sales and i only have one shirt and two polaroid cameras that's all i've bought in so far and we've been out here for an hour and a half so you know what the real picking that i want to do is in those small farm towns along the highway so that's where we're gonna go we're gonna forget about all these town sales just go to the good stuff out in the countries hopefully we can have better luck there and stop wasting time okay youtube it's been a long day ignore the natural curls they're out to play right now but it's been a long day it's currently 6 30 at night and i left the house this morning at 6 30 a.m so it's been a day, now I'm gonna shoot this haul video. Guys, I got so much stuff. It's taking up a whole corner in my living room right now. I'm gonna put you on the tripod. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay, before I get into the haul, I first wanna say that this is the best garage sale day that I've ever had, even after we really messed up beginning of the day. Okay, so we had to drive an hour and a half just to get to this highway. The highway stretches 171 miles long. Along the route, there were 16 cities or towns that were having these garage sale days. We only made it to four of the 16 towns on the highway. And just to give you a reference, the first town we went to had 40 sales listed up. The second town we went to had 30 sales listed up. And then the second two towns that we ended our day with were like smaller farm towns. They didn't have an exact number, but the last town we went to had the most garage sales that we went to in the day. And the first two towns that we went to was a complete waste of time. I only got, I think I only got four items in the first two hours of garage selling this morning. We went to a very rich town first, and I swear to you, every garage sale, every single garage sale we went to was a mom, a middle-aged, middle-class mom trying to sell baby clothes. The whole town seemed to be selling baby clothes. It was a joke. So everything's kind of, you know, jumbled up in this big old pile right here. But I do want to say we didn't get to the last farm town until one o'clock. And that is where I got 90% of what you're about to see. It was in the last farm town. So I can only imagine what I would have came out with if I went to that town first. Guys, like the video. This is my most fun video, I'm saying it right now, of all, all summer long. This is my favorite one that I get to make. So please share a little love. It means the world to me and it kind of rejuvenates me to keep on with my modern day treasure hunting side business. The first thing I got all day long was this Polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve pearl snap. So I only really picked this up because I've never seen a pearl snap Ralph Lauren, uh, not jacket, but button up before. This was super colorful. This was after like four garage sales already. And I was like, you know what? I got to pick up something. So I paid two bucks for this and I've never seen a pearl snap before. And this is some crazy plaid colors, so I had it. So up next, I paid five bucks for this old radio. It's wooden, it's pretty cool, it's an airline. Um, this is now like my third or fourth vintage radio in my collection. This kind of stuff I love decorating my house with, even though my house is pretty bare and bland right now. But one day, it'll be filled with antiques. Um, we can dive into this sack next. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible and as visually appealing as possible for you guys, my viewers. Here's something I usually don't really pick up, but I paid a dollar. Whoa, Barbie, cover yourself up, girl. For these four Barbies, one dollar, I had to pick them up. They are the vintage Barbies. You can tell very quickly by just looking if they have holes in the feet. If they do, that means they would go on a stand and the stand is for the vintage Barbies. Anyway, um, I've actually sold Barbies before and for a dollar for the whole lot of these girls, hey, I'll resell anything I can make a dollar on. 
And then I guess right away, I did get a couple shirts. So I got a crazy little vintage winterland scene on this crew neck. Ugly sweater season is coming up, so I had to pick this up. It was only a quarter. And then for another quarter, I picked up this little shirt here. It says, so many frogs, so little time. I'm assuming it's talking about going around and kissing as many people as you can. So life lessons right here on this t-shirt. Then for another quarter, this is a super tiny crew neck sweatshirt. It's gotta fit like a small, it says friends don't let friends eat chocolate alone. It was only a quarter. I was trying to add up here to make a dollar. The only reason I picked this one up. And then the last shirt to go with that lot here is this Tennessee Unique by Nature. This has gotta be talking about some like Tennessee forest or something out there, some wilderness thing. So cool enough for a quarter to grab. Uh, I guess I can show this off next. This, I was getting pretty desperate at this point. This is one of my first grabs. I was just trying to find something that I could resell. And for $5, I got a whole box full of new glass Christmas bulbs, all different colors. Got some little mini packs of different colors. Got some, you know, more green. I mean, the whole box is filled with new Christmas bulbs. This one's missing one. But I figured... But I figured, you know, for five bucks, you can't go wrong. I could lot all this together, vintage glass Christmas bulbs, and I'm sure I would at least double my money on this. So this is, you know, I was I was really kind of digging for some profits here at this point in the day. Oh, I want to show you guys these hats next. So I got a nice little hat lot here. This was a big sale. This is one. This was in one of the first two towns that I went to. And they were selling basically a whole TJ Maxx or Marshalls store. So I'm assuming they did like a, a pallet buy or a buyout of one of the stores. And they had a bunch of brand new with tag clothes, a bunch of that little knickknack stuff and some hats. So for $2 a piece, I got these Volcom hats. And I also picked up the all black ones. I have three of these ones. And then I had to pick up this North Face. I loved the vibrant color on it. This isn't brand new with Tag 2. I ended up paying 10 bucks for this hat. And then they had one vintage snapback in there. So I picked up, this is like what, the Braun, the King. And it's got a nice little silver tag up in there. Nice little mesh snapback, pretty cool actually, all white. And I walked up to the table and I was like, I got $21 worth of hats right here. Can I just give you a $20 bill? And he had the audacity to say no. Can you believe that? I was like, dude, I'm buying all these from you. I know you bought these out from like a Marshalls. It's a dollar off. I got a $20 bill right here. I had the 20 in my hand and he's like, no, I gotta take 21. And mind you, I was super frustrated at that point because garage sales were slacking and lacking. They were crack a whacking. So yeah, that kind of put me over the edge just a little bit. But we went on, we persisted. Here's an interesting sale. She wanted 50 cents for a vintage Iowa crew neck, so I had to pick that up. Uh, it's got nice colors, very soft. It's in pretty good condition, so. Pick that up. And then she wanted $100 for this little Wii bundle. There's a Wii in here, a bunch of games and stuff. And I kind of laughed at her price of 100 bucks, and I went up and I asked her, I was like, would you do any lower for the Wii? And she was like, well, what are you thinking? And I told her, I was like, well, I'm kind of thinking more like $25. And then she laughed at my offer. And lo and behold, we settled on $40. So did she get her hundred? No, but this was actually kind of near the end of the day. And she's like, yeah, no, nobody's even looked at the Wii really. And I wanted to be like, yeah, cause you got a hundred bucks on it. So for 40 bucks, uh, that's a good Wii bundle for me. Wii stuff is still doing very well on eBay. This box here came out of a free pile at one of the sales. It's just a box full of blank DVD cases. I actually need some more blank CD, DVD, game cases, whatever. So I got a whole box for free. Okay guys, up next is a bunch of cameras that I got. Never in my life have I picked up so many cameras for so cheap. So these two were actually the second sale of the day that I went to, a Polaroid Sprint 60 CL, and then a nice one-step Polaroid camera. I only paid three bucks each for those two. Uh, then we went down the road and I got this like Polaroid point and shoot type of camera for $1. And then I also got this Polaroid. It's a little junky, but this one was only 25 cents. 
Oh, and this little Vivitar camera still with the box. This is an amazing condition, honestly. And I only paid 25 cents for this one. So I got a bunch of cameras. I actually only picked up the first two because I have just sold one camera yesterday, I think it was. So I was like, I'll pick up a camera. And that camera quickly turned into five cameras. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff thrown into this one stack here. Speaking of cameras, this one was also only a quarter. Yellow dots were a quarter. Like I know this little Kodak camera will only sell for maybe like 12, 15 bucks, but for a quarter, I'm not gonna pass that up. It's easy money. Okay, and here's my first little stash of Nintendo DS games. Uh, four little cases, three little cases here, four games in each case. So that's 12 Nintendo DS games. Nothing too crazy in these, just like filler games. I paid a dollar each, so 12 bucks. But I was like, you know what? This was actually my first video game pickup of the day. And I wanted to get something video game related because it just sells so well. So not big money makers on these loose games, but at least something to list. Then we got <laughs> uh, these, there are these two ladies. This was one of the last sales I went to. They saw my, my Star Wars shirt and they're like, do you like Star Wars? And I was like, yeah, how do you know? <laughs> uh, anyway, she's like, I have just the game for you. And I really didn't want to buy this. But then again, I'm kind of been into the board games recently. So uh, she wanted four bucks. I asked for three and she gave it to me. So I got a Star Wars board game. And then they also had some pretty cool hats. Hey, look, it's another one of those DS games. So there's another dollar. So I paid 50 cents for each of these hats. This first one is the Colorado Buffaloes. This will probably go to my cousin. This next one I only picked up because I love the checker pattern all around it. It says 20th anniversary, the Burr, February 3rd, a bike challenge. But yeah, I couldn't pass this one up just because of the colors and the checkers on it. Uh, I got two camel hats. This first one is actually in pretty rough condition, but for 50 cents, I can clean that one up. And here's the second one. It's just the blue patch in the front. Both of these hats are going to need to be, you know, washed, cleaned up, and reshaped. But I can do that, no problem at all. And then I got this pretty cool uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers hat. I did not realize when I bought it, though, how messed up the brim is. Now, that brim is not really fixable. I don't know. Someone might still buy it for 10 bucks. Who knows? And then the last hat here, this one also needs to be reshaped. All these hats were just thrown into a box but this is the wrap only winston has it i was thinking yeah winston cup or winston cigarettes or whatever it is so i picked that one up too there's another sack down i'd say maybe we're halfway done right now all right this was a pretty fun sale actually i got this jumanji game this one is actually from the 90 what 98 i think 1998 when i was walking away from the sale a guy walked past me and was like Oh man, I missed out on the Jumanji game. And I was like, hey, 25 bucks right now, you can have it. No, I didn't. But this was actually one of the first sales where I got like multiple items. I, it was pretty fun. This sale was actually doing a fill bag sale. So I had to buy the game separately. It didn't fit in the bag, but uh, everything in here was five bucks. So I shoved a couple like old toys in here and some vintage clothing in here. So the first things first, we have a Red Sturgis 2002 graphic t-shirt. Now keep in mind, I only paid five bucks for everything else in this sack. Then I threw this old, then I got this Carhartt. I think this is a vintage Carhartt. And I liked the spell, I like the colors on it. Now this one is super stained up, but I've actually bleached a couple Carhartts just like this before and they turned out just fine. So I'll try to do that with this one. And then the last clothing item from this sale was this old Eddie Bauer, 100% wool sweater. Nice little pullover, it's got some cool colors, a nice little pattern to it. So. I picked this up. We have a couple of little sealed McDonald's toys. Um, nothing really crazy, I guess. I just threw them in because they were there and they fit in the sack. A couple more loose toys. These are like Donald Duck and 101 Dalmatian toys. And then the last thing that was in the sack was this Marlboro flashlight or all-in-one purpose type of tool. So pretty cool. I mean, for five bucks, yeah, why wouldn't you try to just throw in as much random stuff as you can? Okay, this was another pretty fun sale, too. This jacket is absolutely wild. Check this out. It's got the faces all over it. I don't even know what brand it is, but it is reversible onto, like, a little purple fleece side. 
But man, it was the first thing I picked up at the sale. I like knew I had to have it. This thing's just too cool. I can't find a brand, but the buttons say New York City. So, I mean, who knows? But this is absolutely wild. Maybe one of my favorite pickups today. I also picked up these Snap-on vintage Adidas pants from her. These aren't big money makers, but they usually sell pretty quickly. I've had good luck with the Snap-on vintage pants. So that was two bucks and two bucks. And then for 30 bucks, I got more Nintendo DS stuff. A couple games. She wanted 30 bucks for this whole lot of stuff stuff actually some pretty decent game titles in there and then the actual nintendo ds it does work and i was curious to see oh there are more games in here oh there's a bunch oh so we have a bunch more small games i picked this up for 10 bucks it's an old corona sign corona is my favorite cerveza and uh yeah this is just gonna stay with me Actually, 10 bucks is a heck of a deal for that sign. And then for $3, $3, I got this big old cat jacket. Don't know what the resale value of this is, but I've seen some of these like NASCAR jackets go for pretty good money. So I'll take it. Okay, we are approaching the bottom of my little pile here. So these little Stampin' Up! collection stamps, I only picked these up because one of my favorite YouTuber resellers, uh, Shed Flips or Garage Flips, he did very well with the whole big lot of these. So I picked these up for just a little chance on them. I had to pay seven bucks for the five cases here. And then the cheapest thing of the day, no, the second cheapest thing of the day for 10 cents. I got these antique picture frames. If you guys watch all my videos, you've seen me talk about this old, these old brass bubble glass frames. I think I called them fishbowl glass frames in the past but they're more commonly known as the bubble glass frames. I have like six or seven of these types of frames now. I love them so much. I just love how they pop out. But you gotta tell me, okay? So for a nickel a piece, would you pick these up? Like, how can you go wrong? For a nickel a piece, I'll put them on my wall. And they're so cool. They're like the old time people on the farm surviving the Dust Bowl back in the roaring 20s. Like, man, life was tough. And this will remind you of where we came from. Okay, it looks like we only got like two things left after this sack. I gave somebody a dollar for everything in this crazy sack. Honestly, nothing crazy at all, but for a quarter, I just had to pick it up, of course. So you have this little Warner Bros. Superman t-shirt in that baby blue colorway. Hey, you never know, Marvel, cartoon, promo tees, all that kind of stuff is just blowing up right now. Then I picked up this little denim, black denim NASCAR, Tony Stewart. For a quarter, this was good enough for me. Had to pick it up. And then another quarter, of course. Got this other Tony Stewart racing type of, this has like a weird, weird graphic texture to it. And then last but not least, for that final quarter, a Got Milk t-shirt. I've actually sold a Got Milk t-shirt just like this once before. And then we went to one like only antique sale. This guy had a lot of cool antiques. This is the best deal I could bring them to though. He got a whole sack full of bulbs for vintage cameras and then a whole crate full of vintage cameras and camera lenses. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time showing you guys these because I honestly, I don't know much about them yet, but 35 bucks for this whole crate and look at the beast of a lens on this camera. I think this camera alone and this lens might pay for the whole lot. And then we have one, two, and this is a big boy, three, four, another big boy, five, six, seven, seven more lenses and one more camera. So, I mean, 35 bucks for two cameras and a total of eight lenses. I don't know how I don't make my 35 bucks back. I think this actually might be one of the best buys of the day. <sighs> Are you guys tired yet? Is your popcorn all gone? We got one final pickup. This was the cheapest thing I picked up all day and it was the most exciting thing I picked up all day. When I saw it, like freaked out. Actually, yeah, it was the last stop we made today. I really expressed my joy when I saw it. Let me just grab it. Look at this, look at this beast. It's an original, oh my God, it's so heavy. Apple free sticker right there on it. It was full free. And it came with the original keyboard. Like this is, this is crazy. It was a younger couple and right when I got out of the car, I ran to it and I was like freaking out. I was like, 
in Miss Mateer's second grade class, I remember sitting on one of these. These, literally this same color too in my memory bank. And I would play Oregon Trail. I think it was the first computer I ever have used in my life. And not to mention, these are actually pretty dang expensive if you're trying to buy one for yourself. Like you really can't get them anywhere. Just look up comps on them on eBay. You just look it up, you'll see. So to get this for free was the perfect ending to my day. And I picked this up at like 4.30 in the afternoon. How does everybody walk by this with a free sticker on it? all day long it's just craziness just craziness so guys please once again if you made it to this point in the video please like consider subscribing if you are not i have a lot of work to do to get all of this stuff listed up got to get the profits now that i spent oh and if you want to know how much i spent all day long 164 dollars was my little total if i kept track of everything correctly it was a fun day this is my favorite thing to do ever in the world my favorite so today was a blast and you know finding the stuff is only the first fun part the second fun part is making money on it too so i got work to do i'll see you guys on the next one